It's true. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, quick little update. No big deal, but uh, it's more of a, oh, by the way. Um, but the Earth as we know it could get wiped out in a matter of minutes at uh, 6.05 p.m. That's what an asteroid named 2010 WC9, which is the size of a standard city block, is expected to just narrowly miss Earth. Narrow. Steve Garagiola shows us that while it may be a little too close for comfort, uh, there's no reason to freak out. <laughs> there was a huge piece of rock 450 feet across hurtling toward Earth, and it's supposed to reach us in oh, about 10 minutes. So while we have a little time left, let me explain. Asteroid 2010 WC9 is streaking toward Earth, and it's big and fast. It's an asteroid that's about 400 feet wide. It's traveling at about 29,000 miles an hour. Michael Narlock is head of astronomy at Cranbrook Science Center and says astronomers have been tracking this asteroid for a while now. By solar system standards, this enormous rock will come very close to Earth. This asteroid will come between us and the moon. So that's close. That's very close. This past January, a meteor surprised us all when it exploded in the atmosphere over Metro Detroit and made quite a boom. An asteroid twice the size of a football field would make more than a boom. If this object were to hit the ground, and if it were, say, made out of metal, it would probably make a crater about a mile wide. So now that we're down to about eight minutes before the asteroid arrives, Michael, let's get to the important question. We're going to be around for an 11 o'clock news, right? It's almost a guarantee. I can't say for certain that something doesn't happen, but I plan on being around at 6.06 and, 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 and thereafter, so I wouldn't worry about it. So the bottom line is, Michael is very confident we will not all be vaporized in about seven minutes. Karen? Jason, back. He said he wasn't certain. I'm taking him. I trust him. All right. Is there any chance that we can actually see it pass by if we look up? No, actually, there is no chance that we can see it. Number one, you would need a telescope. And number two is we're on the wrong side of the Earth. There are mm. stations in Western Europe that can see it. They are tracking it and they're streaming the video. So we've put a link at Click on Detroit. So the good news is if the Earth is destroyed in seven minutes, you will see it first. Oh, well, that's very good news, and I sure hope to see you at 6.07 tonight, That's Steve. right, yeah, thanks, Keep Steve. your fingers crossed. The other reason is we won't see it. I'll be under the desk. Won't be able to see it from there. I know. <laughs> Logan,